Mainers struggle with all the snow. Members of Maine's National Guard are headed to Massachusetts to help the Commonwealth dig out. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill is live in Portland now to tell us more about the Guard's mission and the effect it will have here in Maine. Paul. Well, think about all of the snow that has fallen here in Portland in just the past 30 days. You got it? It's brutal, I'm sorry. But think about another almost 20 inches of snow on top of what we have. That is what the people in Boston are dealing with, and that is why the Maine National Guard is going down to help. Sergeant Jeremy Plowman from Durham is going to be living up to his name for the next two weeks. He's one of the dozens of Maine Army National Guard soldiers who will be heading south to Boston tomorrow morning to help the city dig out. Major Michael Steinbuschel says the men and women of the 133rd Engineer Battalion will be working to make narrow streets passable again. We're going to face some very unique challenges, uh, but we have very skilled equipment operators. Uh, many of the soldiers that are going to be deploying on this mission recently came back from a deployment to Afghanistan. This closer to home mission will still be a tough one. Boston has received a record setting 72.6 inches of snow over a 30 day period. That's nearly 20 inches more than Portland has seen in the same time. Cars are buried, public transportation has been crippled, and even a yacht from Maine got stuck in a snowbank. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker has already activated 500 of the Commonwealth's National Guard soldiers. We're dealing with unprecedented circumstances here. I mean, we're talking about six or seven feet of snow in 14 days. Our question for the Maine National Guard brass was, what does this deployment do to our state's ability to respond to emergencies? If we get hit with a lot of snow, does the Guard still have the capability to help out Mainers? We certainly do. The, the Maine Army National Guard 133rd Engineer Battalion consists of over 700 soldiers. We have 50 soldiers and nearly 40 pieces of equipment that are responding down to Boston for this emergency, and that represents just a small fraction of our capability. The soldiers will leave from Auburn tomorrow morning at 1045. Live in Portland, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.